Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's J Dot The Jamo. Um, we back again with another video. We're gonna do a little short video though, because basically this company called Chotek, they contacted me the other day and they were like, you know, we got some stuff to send you. Can you review it? Let us know what you think. We'll send you more stuff. Um, first thing they've sent me is this case for my one plus three. And I thought if I'm gonna review a one plus three case, I might as well get a couple more cases to review them against so the company's called chotec um they sell lots of usb stuff charging you solutions bluetooth this and bluetooth that and um yeah i'll put a link in the description below anyway but um yeah back with their case um it's 7.99 or 6.99 i believe um yeah six no oh, six ninety eight actually and it's on the amazon prime and basically it's one of those naked cases that protects your phone. Um, I'm a big fan of naked cases. Reason why, when you buy your phone, you buy it because of the look. And then you protect your phone with a case that hides the look of your phone. Um, obviously, you want to protect your phone, but um, you want your phone to look nice. You want your phone, you know, when you're holding it, you want friends to go, oh, what phone is that kind of thing? Rather than having, you know, one of these cases, for example, and everyone just thinks you probably have a Samsung or something like that. But anyway, we'll get down to the case. Quite lightweight. It's quite thin. Um, it's a bit too thin for my liking, but at least you've got access for all your ports there. So you've got access for the camera and the flash. You've got the rear microphone access there. You've got your power button side access there. Um, you've got all your access for your headphone jack, your bottom microphone, USB-C, and your speaker grill access right there. And you've got your two volume rocker buttons well it's one long button for the volume rocker and you've got your hole for your alert slider um now these ports are all really good i can use the phone and access all the phone's buttons and ports um when i need to with this case it's not really that hard um which is a good point um case is really thin that can be a good thing and a bad thing in terms of protection i think i'd prefer personally a thicker case but um in terms of usability when i need to put my phone into my gps holder in my car or if i'm riding my bike and i want to put my phone in my phone mount with these thicker cases i usually have to take my phone out of the case and then put it into the phone mount which is not that hard but it's just a little bit strenuous and long and i'd rather not do it i'd rather just put my phone and the case into the car mount or the bike mount so um, that's a really good point with these thin cases. But yeah, this is the lightest case of all the cases that I've got here to review for you today. Um, we're going to go on to the next case. This case is by Profer or Profer. Um, basically, same as this, naked. It's got all your ports um, for everything there. But it's just a bit thicker. So um, I feel there's more protection with this one. In the corners, there feels like that's where the case gets really thick. And that's where you're going to need most of your protection when your phone drops. So um, that's a really good point of this um, case. Um, is it too thick to fit into your pocket? I wouldn't say so. We're not into that realm or region just yet. But um, yeah, nice, really, um, really thick. Um, I mean, when I, in terms of describing the thickness, when I pinch hard on this one, I can, my index finger can feel my thumbnail through the case. Um, when I do the same with this, I mean, I can still feel my index, um, my thumbs, um, fingernail, <laughs> my thumbnail through the case, but um, it's not as intense. It's not as thin. So um, that's quite a good case as well. We've got the Orsley Fusion bumper case. Um, it's a lot thicker than this and it's degrading quite a bit. I've only had it for, well, I've had it for about two months and it's already falling apart. It's got a couple of scratches on it as well. But um, I like the style choice of this one because you can have these little these little TPU bits which protect the phone from um, dropping. Um, you can get different colours. So you've got orange, blue, red, green. Um, you know, all the basic colours. That's also on Amazon for $7.99. And it's a lot more thicker than the both of these put together. It adds a bit of weight to your phone, adds a bit of thickness. But this, I don't, I don't even think you can. Can you even bend this? 
I think if I bend this, it will actually snap. So that is, that's how rigid this one is. Whereas I can bend this one like this, and I can also bend this one. This is not, this is not going to bend. I will probably snap the type of plastic here if I attempt to bend it. So we're not going to do that. But um, yeah, that's the rigidity. Rigidity? Is that a word? I'm not sure. But that's the rigidity of this one. Um, the only problem with this was that, um, apart from it breaking now, I found it a bit hard to get to this alert switcher. Um, you know, you had to really get your fingernail in there and switch it. Whereas this one, these ones are like shallow enough for me to just flick it up and down just like that. So, um, yeah, really good protection case. Um, good that it's naked as well. You can still see the design of the phone. But um, a bit hard to access the alert slider, which I use all the time. Buttons on the left side were a bit mushy on this one. Power button was okay and all the usual ports were okay. Now, you might be bored of the design of your phone, <laughs> like I was. So I actually got one of these black back cases, so um, which are not see-through, obviously. Um, gives your phone a kind of basic look, makes it look like any Samsung or any other Android phone. But um, Spigen are a really good company. I usually get cases from them. Most of my cases have always been from them when I'm on Amazon. Um, it's got a nice little carbon fiber feel at the top going on here. And a little bit at the bottom as well. I'm not sure if that adds to the protection or if that's just for design. Um, judging by the thin and lightness of this case, it looks like it's just for the design. It's, I mean, I'd say it's in between these two for thickness. So um, that's that case. I think it's also about $7.99 on Amazon. I'll put the link for all these in the description below. So don't worry about that. But um, yeah, you know, quite nice design on the back, actually. Um, with the little hole for the camera and the flash. And you've got the branding on the side right there. So that's the Spigeon case. And then, last but not least, well, very much not the least, <laughs> we've got the 2DR. Uh, what was the title for this case again? The 2DR Super Slim Fit Heavy Duty Extreme Protection, apparently. Um, and literally, that is what this is. It comes in two parts. So you've got this main body bit um, with a little bit of design in there. You've got a little bit of branding going on in there as well. You've got all the usual ports on the side. Um, I've just noticed there's a hole where you can see through the power button there. Never noticed that before. Um, and you've got the same thing going on there with the volume rocker. And then you've got your normal ports here. So, um, yeah, 2D case. And it's got this bit as well. I'm not sure what this does. It just makes it a bit more rigid like the Orsley case here. Um, you can't really bend this type of plastic um, without it breaking, I'm assuming, anyway. But yeah, that's that. And then you clip them together and you've got the super case. But um, it's noticeably thicker, guys. I'm talking about, we're looking at, it's going to be hard to fit it into your pocket right now. But, I mean, okay, I've got baggy pockets. I can fit anything in the pocket. But, like, if you're wearing them slim jeans, you might want to reconsider this. But right here, as you can see on the top, can you see that extra thickness? on the top here and the extra thickness on the bottom here now that's quite important because that is the part that your phone is going to drop on when it drops onto concrete and that is where all the added protection is um another thing with this case is that it hides the camera hump of your one plus three so that camera hump is well beneath this you can put this flat on the table flat even on the front and the phone is raised up off the ground so it's not scratched the screen is not scratched and the camera hump is not scratched at all. It's a very important that's that's protected. Um, yeah, so that's that. The 2D case, put the link in the description below for that. This also protects the front and the back in terms of raising it off the ground. Um, same goes with this, protects the front and the back. Um, this one doesn't really protect the back camera hump so much. I mean, sorry, this one doesn't protect the screen that much in terms of raising it off the ground, but it does protect the back camera hump a little bit. But yeah, top five cases for the OnePlus 3 smartphone. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what cases you think are the best for the OnePlus 3. Um, shout out to Cho, Cho Tech. Was it Cho Tech again for sending me the case? Um, and thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe and like if you haven't already. J Jamo. Out.